Hello and welcome back to another City Skylines video. Here we are back on the fourth episode of this new city. Um, I don't believe we still have a name as the same as last episode. I still have yet to come up with a name. However, today um, we are going to be working on the university. Um, There's another thing that I've been really thinking I wanted as a major part of the city and it's going to be right um, near the other park that we worked on last episode. It's going to be by the waterfront. Uh, well, the riverfront, let's say. It's not really a waterfront, but there is water. Anyways, we're going to be making another beautiful uh, university campus. Really big, I think. And just make it really grand and good looking. Anyways, right now we're just going to start off with making some of the paths, of course. Because that, of course, is quite important. And... Right now what you can see is I'm just, for some reason the node controller wasn't making it so that I could have a crosswalk in the road so that people could walk across. However, I just decided to make a path and that fixed it instead. And now that we've done most of the main paths, it's time to start building the, or to start placing down the actual buildings of this university. We're going to of course start out with the dorm rooms. And then we're going to be moving on to some of the other buildings that a university needs. And while well, I initially thought this space would be way too large um, for just, just a city university, uh, later on in this episode, when we're working on this, it's going to become apparent that this place is actually not big enough for the university that I wanted to build. In the last series, I believe, we made quite a more compact university. However, for this series, I decided that I would like to have the university be a lot bigger, spread out the campus, wide, big, huge campus, a lot of walking, and we may even add some bus routes, some shuttle buses, uh, just for these kids to get around, as well as maybe a tram or some light rail. I don't believe I end up doing that in this episode, but that is definitely something that I do want to work on in the future. Anyways... We are placing even more buildings down. And then, this is the when the initial problem strikes. I'm trying to place down some of the bigger schools, such as the School of Engineering and the School of Science, when I realize I don't have enough space for some of these bigger buildings. So I have to kind of reorganize the area, move some buildings out of the place, and move others and just make enough space and then we're gonna have to actually move this road a bit because and a bunch of other buildings because we really just need enough space for these larger schools and there we go just like that we've got the school of law in there as well as some more pass and there is still some empty space so i think i'm gonna add some more dormitories to fill up just a few bits and bobs of all the space that's left and that is pretty much the university right there now, I did actually forget about a few buildings, so we are going to make it a little more beautiful with the trees. The trees in City Skylines always just make everything look so much better. And things that I forgot, of course, was some sports stadiums. And I just think, I'm going to go with the track and field stadium. We just don't really have enough space to do more than just that. I would have liked to have all of the sports stadiums. But realistically, with the space that we have, it's just not going to work. And now we're moving on to a whole nother thing. And that is going to be our first um, industrial section. This isn't really, um, this isn't going to be any of the industries DLC stuff. This is just going to be like basic generic industry. I do want to work on probably an iron ore mine and like an oil field. But that is going to be coming later on in this series uh, for now. People just need jobs, so we're gonna grant them that by making some of these, uh, some of this, this just small industrial area with a bunch of warehouses and just some generic vanilla industry. Now is also a great time to finally move some of our service buildings, such as the water and the sewage and the power plants and the garbage buildings to this new industrial area as them being near the downtown part of the city just really isn't 
isn't what I want for this city. I want it to be a good looking city, which is why, of course, we're putting so many trees and colleges down. However, those service buildings really did not help anything. So we're going to move them all, including the power plant, into this industrial area. This is about the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed what we did today with the university and the metro tracks as well as a bit of industrial stuff as well as even making more area for land for future houses and homes. Make sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys again very very soon.